Does anyone know what that is, James? <laughs> hey, you guys, you have a record deal? First of all, great job, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sir. Thanks. What's an A&R guy? Uh, Artist relations or represent or something like that? See, you'd think it's that. It's not, is it? It's not, no. <laughs> it's something crazier. Hey, right. D Danny Filato's been on radio forever. Danny, what's the A&R guy? What's A&R stand for? Artist and repertoire. Artist and repertoire. Right. That's okay. us. There you got you got <laughs> for, Okay, well, first of all, you sound great, but let's get right into it. Deer Tick, you're from Rhode Island. Is, well, is that where that comes from? What, any, you guys have Lyme disease? What happened? Uh -huh. I used to have Lyme Did disease. you get Lyme disease? And is that why you guys are named that? Like, what happened with no, that? No, it's nothing to do with the band. I got, I got, I named it. Um, I just thought it sounded kind of gross. And, <laughs> and I guess, cool, I don't know. It's like, um, I was hiking in Indiana. Yeah. And uh, I found one on my scalp. And, you did? Uh, despite growing up in Rhode Island and going camping and fishing a bunch growing up, I had never been bit by one. So right. I was, uh, I was pretty hammered, so I when I found it, so I freaked out a bit and I was take me to the hospital. No. And everybody had a good laugh at my expense. That's the greatest uh, story so. for naming a band I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. Deer Tick. That's, that's it, man. Uh, the, the old one used to be what was a good one? Uh, uh, well, Led Zeppelin. Supposedly a manager <laughs> said they were gonna yeah. the the band was gonna bomb. And they were gonna yeah. drop like a Led Zeppelin. In yeah. fact, <laughs> that was the story behind that. But uh, supposedly Dennis Leary told me that there might be a band in New England called. Uh, 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 Kurt Schilling's Bloody Sock. <laughs> that sounds Supposedly. very that's right. now, You gotta get some good songs to go with it. But uh, you gotta know, what do you, I, that sounded like that last tune, I don't mean to insult you, you never know what people like, what they don't like, but like a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers type vibe. Uh, Thanks, dreams in the Ditch. Of... Yeah, you know, I mean, I believe for me, that's a cop, and I'm a big fan. We are huge fans. Too. It's catchy, it's great, you know? It's yeah. like really good stuff. Uh, yes. I, what, what do you guys model yourself after? Classic rock, or what do you do? Um, I mean, me personally, some of my favorite bands are Nirvana, The Replacements, NRBQ, mm -hmm. The Band. The uh, Band, yeah, I love that, yeah. And um, songwriters, I'm Pixies? Huge, right. uh, I love the Pixies, too, yeah. yeah. Um, now, guys, have you ever slept with underage women? When and I was you, underage. And, and <laughs> that's when, uh, that's when you know you made it, when you're Elvis and you pick a 14-year-old wife. <laughs> <laughs> and you're flying Jerry a Denny Lewis. You're flying a Denny, yeah. you have a kid with that wife, you name a plane after that kid, and you take that plane to Denver to get fried peanut butter sandwiches. You're uh, a rock. Not star. it. <laughs> not <You're> it. Rock. <laughs> you're right. Now, uh, John, any thoughts on the band? Yeah, I really like uh, the drummer. Uh, your, what's your name? Dennis. Dennis. I mean, great job on the harmonies, man. I mean, that was beautiful He's stuff. our secret weapon. Yeah. He yeah. truly is. I was going to say that, the harmonies. I forgot about that. Yeah, Thank just really, much. really nice sounding. Everyone just works together. And it seems like, you know, you, you tend to feature everybody, you know, with five guys. I guess sometimes that's hard to do, but it seems like you're pretty diplomatic about uh, giving guys some some good, yeah. juicy We're just all jealous personalities. <laughs> is, 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 is jealousy tearing the band apart? Well, we get a little pissy <laughs> when we don't all together. have our moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see, like, the Supremes in the late 60s going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we look like. What do, you got, uh, what do you got going on next? Where are you next? Are you playing clubs, theaters? What kind of gigs are you looking at here? Uh, well, a bit of both, I guess, yeah. depending on how strong or weak our marketplace What's is. What's next? Uh, and our next show is... Uh, at Brooklyn Bowl, we're um, doing the Nirvana album in utero in its entirety. No way! No for the Twentieth anniversary. That's oh, awesome! Wow! Yeah. That's awesome! I love that. Wow! Album. That's twenty years old already in utero. Yeah, nineteen ninety-three. Yeah. yeah, I can remember uh, when that album came out. It. I had a choice. I had enough money to buy one album, and it was going to be Verses by you know Pearl Jam or in utero, and I chose in utero, and I think Good I chose, choice. Oh, yeah. chose wisely. Let me say this. Serious let, me, let, let, let me say this. Hey, wait, I got a little man. You should come, dude, be a guest vocalist. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're looking love, for That's all I know. lost our guest vocalist. How do you do? Who was your guest vocalist? Oh, we, well, we had our friend Hardy Morris, the lead singer of this band called Dead Confederate. He and was, he was gonna come in, he dropped out? Yeah, he had he's some gone. something happen at home. He, he lives in Georgia. He couldn't make it. Uh, that well, make that it is a great album. How, how do you? I mean, Kurt Cobain was such an incredible screamer. <laughs> you know that that made some of those songs so special. First of all, the writing. You know, it's they're pretty intricate songs. Like to be able to sing and play that stuff. I guess 
having a couple guitars takes care of that in a it's, way. It is a lot more confusing than you think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot more complicated than, than it sounds. So yeah, so I know, I know. It's really amazing music stuff. on a lot of levels. But it's this, hard to play. Yeah, huh? I love Nirvana. Yeah. Uh, but the screaming, it's just, you can't replicate that. So hey! I, I would, hey! That, <laughs> I got a new is that why you bring in the, the, the guest vocals <laughs> just to try to scream? Is well, that the... yeah, I'm always afraid I'm going to blow up my voice when we do a Nirvana yeah. set. Well, dude, you know what? I, I'll come then if you're afraid. If it's one night, <laughs> we are afraid. Just, so point, yeah. just come. <laughs> point to me when it's my turn, and I'll go, hey! Hey! I got a Oh, hey. Artie, I would love that. I <laughs> <laughs> learned the words. What do you? Uh, <laughs> he's such a downer. <laughs> what do you? Uh, now, when what night of the week is it? That's this Friday. It's right. a couple oh, days. Damn, I'm here doing this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> what now, What time you go on? That's I'll be early. Here. We're on at like nine, I think. Oh, well, I, that's damn. bad for me. I do it later, the better for me. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Hey! <laughs> hey! We'll do it yeah. again another time. How about over the phone? Put a speakerphone yeah, yeah. on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Put a speakerphone on stage and just yeah. call, call in audience <laughs> time. <laughs> I got a new complaint. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, that? How about all apologies? Is that yeah, all? Is I all think, apology on that too? Oh yeah, yeah it's the last song. Wow, what a I great... think that might be more in your wheelhouse. What are the songs on that album? That is a great oh, that's song. That's some great one. Francis Farmer will have a revenge yeah. on Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Milk it. What is it called? Milk it. Yeah. Penny Royalties on it. Yeah, that's right. what I was thinking. Serve the Servants, one of my favorites. Now, is the song, Nirvana what's the song, songs. um, Dumb? Is Dumb on that? That's dumb, on dumb. that, yeah. I love that song. The whole premise, if you're dumb, like you're probably, uh, you know... Happy. No, no, if you're happy, you're dumb, right? Exactly. Oh, if you're dumb, you're happy, yeah. It meant both. Both yeah, and vice both, versa. If you're right. dumb, you're happy. Now, do you guys agree with that? Do you think if you're a happy person, you're dumb because you can't see all the disgustingness in the world? With or... Personal experience, yeah. But... yeah the, I, I want my depends kids... Depends on what you did to get so happy. I, yeah, I, I want really my kids to be good-looking and dumb. <laughs> yeah. That is... Could you imagine, like, Paris Hilton? Just be a good-looking retard. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? You'll get everything in life, and, and when people don't get other stuff in life, you won't have the blues over because you're too dumb to know. Yeah, that's a good point. You know what? Yeah, I'm saying. And, 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 and honestly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if somebody gives you crap, you just go, Hey! <laughs> hey! I got a look When a guy is that brilliant and writes a song, and the premise of his song is if you're happy, you're dumb. You're probably gonna take a shotgun to yourself at the age of 27, which unfortunately mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. Uh, but well, that's great, guys. Well, uh, so you're doing that, and I then got, what? Uh, again, to ask some yeah. Questions? So John, the uh, negativity, the album. Yeah. Um, you, it, your dad going mm -hmm. to jail like inspired the writing of a lot of the songs. Is that, that is what negative. I read? A couple that of the songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine yeah. that would be tough. Um. um how yeah, was, I got out? two younger sisters, uh, and um, so I kind of had to step up and kind of be the man of the family. And right. That wow. was uh, really was a challenge for me because uh, I was a bit of a party animal, and um, <laughs> I kind of let yeah. my vices, you know, get the best of me yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I and, hear uh, you, man. Me too. I've done that. I've so, done you know, that. it's it's been... Uh, been an interesting couple of years for sure. I yeah. could have had a similar situation when I was born. The week I was born, my father was on trial for counterfeiting money. Uh, some of the fellows in downtown Newark asked him to hold about two hundred grand in counterfeit dough, and he put it at his our apartment in Newark, up in the um, above the refrigerator. And the FBI got a tip from somebody. No way. Yeah, long story, and uh, yeah, so they find it. The he week was, you were he, born? He was looking at 10 years, yeah. Jeez. And my lawyer tells my mother to bring me to the uh, courtroom, because I was a new, uh, new, uh, I was a cute kid. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, just as they were doing the summation, they said, uh, held me up. <laughs> my mother said I smiled at just the right time and charmed the, uh, the ah. jury. That's right. <laughs> and there you go. How about that? Absolutely. And I got, I got him. Bailed uh, your dad out. Yeah, I got him out. And, As an uh, infant. Right. And, you know, so. You should have come to my dad's uh, sentencing <laughs> hearing. I could, I could have queued it up. I should have rented myself out. <laughs> I should have hoarded myself out for that stuff. <laughs> so now, uh, okay, so then are you on the road road after that? Oh, I you got, got more. Yeah, too. Go, yeah. yeah, so so you were saying you were a party animal or whatever. Uh, you were down a pretty dark path, I guess, and then you met a girl? Yeah, I mean, it was to... I was kind of partying for no reason and by myself mostly. Well, I mean, yeah. there's there's a reason. I hear you, man. You got, you got I hear you. 
got a lot going on. So well, if you like, if you got if you got some good coke or good heroin <laughs> or weed, you don't want some broad taking it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But I guess are you still with this girl? I mean, is this like? A, a, yeah, she's uh, she's my duet partner on the album. Oh, that's, uh, nice. that's good. Lovely that's Vanessa Carlton. You know, it's great. Okay. And if you, if you get into a fight with her, uh, that's a great tool to just uh, if you're in an argument, just go, Hey, <laughs> wait, I got a new comment. The dishes are filthy and your mother-in-law sucks. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. You're overspending at the market and those shoes are expensive. Hey, wait, <laughs> What a great sketch that would be. Kurt, that, Kurt that, sounds, that actually yeah. sounds more like what she would sing to me. Not right now. <laughs> Kurt Cobain as a housewife. Yeah. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. You're out all night with your friends and you're never washed. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. My sister's shower is Saturday and you're not coming. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. There's never money with the bills, and I need a new dress. Hey, hey, I got a new complaint. Your friends are always watching football, and I gotta make nachos for them. Because hey. I'll tell you, doesn't it seem like sometimes that's what a woman sounds like? After a while, it's all you hear. That's all you hear. Hey, hey, I got a new complaint. You're doing heroin when you're supposed to be going to my friend's wedding. Hey, hey, I got a new complaint. You crapped all over the couch during my little cousin's uh, recital. Hey, <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then you know what I do? I go, all apologies. <laughs> I'm really perfect. Nice In utero, it's a perfect album for marriage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, God, we can do that all night. Let's get drunk and do that all night. That's the good old days. Let's get drunk and do that all after night. Hey! Hey! I got a new complaint. I want to go to the Gap and you spend all the money on hooch. Hey! Hey! Uh, all right. You lost our... <laughs> you lost our daughter's college money on the Jets. Hey! Hey! All right. Uh, how about Twitter? How do we follow you guys? At Deer Tick Music. At Deer Tick Music. All right, we're going to check out. Please come back anytime. But remember this, guys. I want to say this. This football season, DraftKings.com could be crowning you a fantasy football millionaire. Millionaire Grand Final winning $1 million. A new fun way to play fantasy football. That's right. Uh, some guy, uh, game one, day one, won 100 grand. 100 grand his very first time, day one. And John is back on pace. That's me this right? week. That's going to be me this week. Shane hey! is giving me uh, some flack. Absolutely. Because he beat me last week, apparently. Well, you're ready, man. You're ready now. Uh, you're going to get back to again. Right now, my listeners get free entry into the Millionaire Grand Final. Enter Artie, A-R-T-I-E, at DraftKings.com for your free shot to be crowned a fantasy football millionaire. But you got to enter Artie, A-R-T-I-E, today at DraftKings.com. This is Keith Jackson. For details and your free entry, visit DraftKings.com. That's one word, DraftKings.com. And my new complaint is we got to take another break. Deer Tick. Check them out. Uh... Back, oh, back, what is it, Deer Tick Fantasy? No, Deer Tick is just it, right? I, the name of the band is just Deer Tick. Yeah, Deer Tick. I thought you said something else, like Deer Tick. Love you guys. <laughs> back after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.